Hello and welcome to this follow on tutorial to my previous tutorial on basic editing tips in Premiere Pro and Soundbooth. In this particular tutorial I just want to deal with one issue and that issue is the issue of balancing the volume of multiple different clips so that they all sound about the same or they're the same volume level throughout your timeline. Because if you're anything like me you're going to have a whole bunch of different clips and they're all going to be taken in different times and different places and some will be loud and some will be quiet some will be one thing some will be the other and they won't match how do you relatively quickly and relatively simply match all those volumes so they work in your timeline well i have my timeline here and let's just listen to some of the volume changes that take place with a few of these clips This was taken up in the north of England in a place called Northumbria and a little seaside town called Sea Houses. But as you can hear, the clip values are all incredibly different. And I would really like to balance them so that underneath the music they don't sound crazy. So I've actually got some music here which was done by my very good friends Brian and Ruth Bennett. Um, if you listen to that you'll hear the music underneath. Now what I want it to happen, I'm just going to turn that music off again, is I'd like these sounds to be gently underneath, but I'd like them to be balanced. There's a very easy way of doing it, but it takes a little bit of work. What we need to do is we need to make every single one of these clips rendered and replaced in sound booth. Now unfortunately, you can't just select them all and then right click and get edit in sound booth. I wish there was a, a way of doing all of them together but unfortunately there's not so what you have to do is you have to take them one at a time and I'm just going to do a few for demonstration purposes so render and replace it's going to render in place it's going to open up sound booth and load it in there I'm going to just minimize sound booth and I'm going to just do two or three more clips uh, edit in sound booth render and replace and let's do two more render and replace and one more render and replace okay now in sound booth what we have are the rendered and replaced sound files so these sound files will now be in Premiere Pro okay they will be called each one of them audio extracted audio extracted to see the actual individual files you just click on them and you see one of them's got virtually nothing and one of them is fairly loud so they've got incredibly different volume ranges between them and what we want to do is we want to match those up. Now, how do we take these new sound files that have been created in Premiere Pro and copied into Sound Booth and make them all about the same volume? What we need to do in Adobe Sound Booth is to go to this tab here called Tasks. Click on Tasks and then right at the bottom you see one called Volume Correction. Click on Volume Correction. And then we have this wonderful option down here that says Match volume it says drag and drop multiple files here and it's as simple as that what we need to do is select all the files so select the top one hold the shift key and select the bottom one so they're all selected click drag and drop them into this little area here let go and they're all loaded in there all four clips and then we simply hit the match volume button and it comes up with a little summary. It says summary, four files now have a perceived loudness of minus 14 dB, relatively quiet. And these are the four files, and then it's telling you what it had to do to each one of them. So some of them it had to increase very little, but some of them had to have an awful lot of increase to make them sound the same. And then we click close, and then we can do file save all, so all four of them are saved. Minimize that and go back to Premiere Pro. Now if you remember on the last file I showed you that if you go on here on the left and you move this up, if you open up Audio 1, so hit the twirly, and then you can open up that and pull it down, you can actually see that now all of these are about the same size. So I can turn the track volume with here, if I go to the audio mixer, I can now play my music 
down here and I can adjust the track volume to see how they all sound together. So let's play from about there and I will move the track volume so that we get a roughly decent sound. Now, I can't stop there being a qualitative difference between the individual tracks, but what I have done is balance the audio between all of them. Now, this is just with C sounds, but you can do it with speech, you can do it with anything you want. What you need to do is extract, so right-click each file, edit in sound booth, render and replace, then open all of those files in sound booth, select them all, drag them into the match volume, and then hit the match volume button, there's a report of what's happened, file, save all, job done. I hope you found this tutorial useful. My name's Andrew Davis, and thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.